Hey, my friends, this is The Art of Prepping. Today, we're just going to be talking about egg substitutes. This is part one. We'll have a part two as well. And so in this first part, I'm going to go over five egg substitutes. Uh, I just want to put this out there ahead of time that not all of these will vibe with every recipe out there. There will be some texture and some flavors that may not work with certain recipes. So you may have to try a few of these to find which one may be the best as an egg substitute. Uh, So I just want to start out with one that's pretty much the most well-known, and that is uh, either applesauce or apple puree. Now, apple puree pretty much is the simplest way to go. So if you want to minimize the complexity of flavor, uh, go with that. Uh, but there are some, you know, commercially made apple sauces that are pretty mild. So, uh, but there's also some that are not, that have a little bit of a spice to them. Uh, but the rule of thumb on this, when you're using either apple sauce or apple puree, is to go a fourth of a cup or 65 grams to replace an egg. So about a quarter of a cup per egg. The next egg substitute is uh, mashed bananas. And there's also two more that I'm going to slip in here. And you can puree pumpkin or avocado. Once again, you may have to kind of just uh, test out uh, texture and flavor to see if it's going to work with your recipe. But a mashed banana, pureed pumpkin or avocado uh, can work really well in a lot of recipes. People are sometimes surprised on this one. And so the amount is a quarter of a cup or a fourth of a cup or 65 grams per egg. It's the same as the applesauce. So that's pretty easy to remember so far. The next egg substitute is ground flax seeds or chia seeds. You can use either or or one or the other. It works pretty well. And once again, you can experiment, you know, in your recipe. And so how this works is you can just, let's just go ahead and just say you're going to just pick one. And you're going to pick one of these and uh, of your seeds. And so you're going to have one tablespoon of seed, which is about seven grams, with three tablespoons or 45 grams of water and allow the seeds to thicken. And this equals one egg in terms of for most recipes. So one tablespoon of your seed of choice that's ground up for every three tablespoons of of water. Allow it to thicken, and that equals an egg. The next is silken tofu. Silken tofu. So this is also one-fourth of a cup, or 60 grams, pureed silken tofu, which equals one egg. So that's uh, that's something that actually a lot of people have. So I was kind of surprised when I asked a number of people about silken tofu. A lot of people do consume that and they have it around. And the last one for this video, and once again, stay, stay tuned to part two. I'll have five more egg substitutes on that one. And so the last one here is vinegar and baking soda. Vinegar and baking soda. And how this works is you have one teaspoon or seven grams of baking soda and you mix it with one tablespoon or about 15 grams of vinegar and you once again you mix it together and um, some people like to let it sit for just a moment for it to kind of all congeal Uh, but you can use pretty much whatever vinegar you want but it seems like that most people they kind of lean more toward apple cider vinegar um I mean, I know I keep a lot of that around, so that's something that I use, but uh, you can try out different types of vinegar, but it, it seems like that most people have the best success with apple cider vinegar, and this will give you the equivalent to one egg. So once, just one more in recap here on this last one, because it's a little more complex. One teaspoon of baking soda mixed in with one tablespoon of your vinegar of choice equals one egg. So I hope this helps. Thanks for checking the video out. Catch you later.